Hey everyone, today we're talking about the Red Wing Classic Oxford, the 8106 in the black chrome leather. And today I'm wearing the Munson Ranger, the 8011 in white ash. So this Oxford is the first Red Wing that I owned when I was in middle school. So I think I was around 11 or 12 years old, but I had it in brown and I wore this pretty much every day in middle school. So I know exactly how this boot uh, feels uh, breaking it in. Um, uh, so uh, let's lace this boot up and let's check it out. I mean, <laughs> let's lace this Oxford up and let's take a closer look. All right, here is the Red Wing Classic Oxford, the 8106 in the black chrome leather. Now this shoe is very impressive in person. We have the uh, traction tread sole on here, nickel eyelets, Goodyear welt, and this is made on the 23 last. So um, whatever mock toe you're wearing, you would have the same size in this. And of course, triple stitch, yes sir. Now, this if the interesting thing is if you look at the welt on this, it's very different. I have here the uh, load-in mock toe. Look at the welt on this, let's get close up. This is the load-in, this is the Goodyear welt on the load-in as you can see. Now pretty much, Every mock toe will have this minus the 8883 and the 1907. They'll have a Goodyear welt like this. You see the difference there? That extra piece? Here? And here. That's the difference. Cool? So let's take a look at the inside of this shoe. So we have a leather footbed here. It's very tough. Uh, we have leather wrapped around and inside here. This is a uh, canvas on the uh, toe here tongue is not gusseted I don't think it's very necessary But uh, I I have had these and I know that breaking them in is a bear um, I, I remember the rubbing here was uh, Took some days and just in general. This is just very very tough and you're not really flexing in these much at all um, but I, I remember seeing these on the shelf when I was in middle school thinking damn I really 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 need these I, I have to have these and um, the black chrome version is um, absolutely stunning take a look at the uh, heel here I kinda like this little leather piece that comes across I think that's kind of a nice touch I think I'm going to have a really good time styling the 8106. All right, let's do the on feet. I start off with uh, Japanese salvage denim with the 8106, and I think they look actually really good together. And it's something that you would definitely roll up your, um, your denim. Maybe I do one cuff, but I can see maybe doing two cuffs, especially when the warmer weather show off your ankle. And I'm wearing the uh, Red Wing cotton rag sock for these. Now, this is um, a pair of chinos. Um, from J. Crew, and they are, I guess that could be an army color, military color, um, I would say. And these have a double roll, a little bit higher, showing the sock. Um, you could probably do a lower sock and um, show off your ankle if you wanted to. Okay, so these are a cotton trouser from J. Crew. These are gray. I think this is maybe called salt and pepper, I think is the proper color. I just wanted to see how it looked if you did something just slightly dressier because the Oxford is uh, new and not yet creased so I wanted to see if how it look if you just tried to dress it up and then here we go with the black on black these are uh, black denim salvage denim with the black chrome um, just, you know a combination that works well together and then um, these are rail car salvage denim which I'm really digging I like them a lot I got those in uh, Portland Oregon and then uh, this is what the shoe looks like after it's been worn. So the 8106 after, I don't know, several months of wear, um, maybe even a year. And then this, uh, they have leather laces in them. They've been switched out. And these belong to uh, Joe at uh, Grown and Sewn Red Wing Heritage Store. So um, after you've worn the 8106 for some time, this is what they will look like. Um, yeah, there you go. They, I have to say, have, putting these on, they're really comfortable after they've been broken in. I would definitely like to know what you guys think about the classic Oxford. I know I've 
had a couple requests to review these and so that's why I'm doing this review. I had these, uh, like I said, when I was in uh, middle school. I remember seeing them on the shelf and brown and thinking, oh, these are really cool. These are like the boots that I've seen, but it's cut. And I, at the time, not knowing what an Oxford versus boot was, I was just like, these are like boots, but they're not boots. And um, I uh, wore them, like I said, in middle school. I think I was 11 or 12. I remember how I, I think I styled them with um, just jeans, mostly at that at that age. Um, and not selvage denim, obviously, because I didn't know anything about selvage denim when I was in middle school. Um, but um, just wearing them with jeans to, to school. And I, I do remember like that heel ankle area of that leather break in was a was a bit tough. Um, and I remember the boot itself being slightly tough and having to work work it and um, kind of uh, your foot at the end of the day is aching because it hasn't really bent and so your <laughs> your arch needs a little bit of rubbing but once the uh, once you do break these in they are quite lovely so that is the 8106 red wing classic oxford in black chrome leather thank you so much for watching and remember be a boot see you guys next time <laughs>